There's one final finalist, and just like in last night's semi-final, we polish things off with our Polish winner, Joanna Bagniewska. Now, in some ways, Joanna's an old-fashioned girl. She likes ballroom dancing. She likes mink, although I stress not mink to wear to do research on. She's, in her own words, a restless Polish zoologist and now a lecturer in wildlife conservation at Nottingham Trent University. Joanna, though, is not so old-fashioned as to not be on Twitter, and after her success in last night's semi-final, she tweeted simply, it worked, final tomorrow. I'm not quite sure what it is, but if you've got it, get ready to flaunt it. Our Polish champion for 2014, Joanna Bagniewska. <laughs> Drug lords, who can fight them? The humble honeybee, weapon of choice, a phenomenal sense of smell. Bees use that sense of smell to find flowers to feed on, but it can be useful for us too. In fact, bees can be trained to sniff out drugs and explosives. But how do you train a bee? Bees like sugar. And if they sense it, they stick out their tongues. I bet most of you didn't know that bees have tongues, but they do. Now, if you feed the bees sugar and at the same time present them with a scent of explosives, they quickly learn to make a connection between the two. And so if they smell explosives, they stick out their tongues. It takes our bee recruits as little as six seconds to make that connection. OK, so now we have bees that poke their tongues out when they smell illegal substances. But it's not exactly convenient to look out for the tongues of each individual bee. What we do instead is we immobilize our bee in a teeny box with a ray of infrared light underneath its mouth parts. So when the tongue is extended, the beam is broken and a response is registered electronically, so we can see it on a computer screen. Now imagine an army of 40 or so sniffer bees, some trained for uh, recognizing cocaine, some for heroin, some for Semtex, etc. If we present them with cargo, uh, and the ones trained for Semtex would uh, stick out their tongues, that means that we will have explosives uh, transported in that cargo. Now, because bees are fast learners, and because they're cheap to maintain, uh, we can actually train an entire squadron at the same time. So it doesn't matter if one bee is having a bad day, because there are still others that will produce a reliable result. That would not be possible with sniffer dogs, who are costly, quite slow learners, and actually their smell, uh, sense of smell is a bit weaker than that of the honeybee. Now, if you're concerned about bee welfare, rest assured, we don't want to hurt our bees. Um, the, the boxes that they sit in are actually mimicking the shape of the honeycomb. And after two days military service, our bees return to a civilian hive where they can focus on what they do best, pollinating. And that is super important for our crop production, especially since bee populations have now been declining. So when you next see a bee, remember to show some respect. They're here to serve and to protect. I, I, I'd like to get this clear. I can understand why bees would have a sense of smell to pick out different mm -hmm. pollens and flowers, but how was it discovered that, I mean, is it that they have many more receptors than other species? You know, how do we know they can pick out smells like those of drugs or explosives? Oh, OK. Uh, so we can, um, we can t test their sensitivity. Uh, so what we do is we present them with a substance that's quite, um, that's quite clean. Uh, and then we dilute it more and more and more. And we see at which point they stop reacting. And so if you imagine. Um, an Olympic-sized swimming pool. And if you take a drop of a substance and you drop it into that Olympic-sized swimming pool, and then you take 25 Olympic-sized swimming pools and you still have that one drop inside, 
that is um, the sensitivity that a bee can sense at. Uh, with a dog, you'd have to put a whole bottle of that substance in comparison to, um, to, to get a dog to actually detect that sort of quantity. So this is, um, I hope that answers yeah, yeah. your question. Thank you. yeah. In terms of sense of smell, then, are, are, bees, are bees it? I mean, are there any animals that, that have a superior sense of smell? Well, um, there are others that can be used in, for detecting explosives, uh, um, that are either carried on people or, um, or can be used for, for landmine detection. Uh, so there, there are tons of animals that do have a very good sense of smell, but for instance, rats have been used in mine detection. So because they're so light, they're lighter than dogs, if they s step onto the minefield, they're actually not going to get the mine to explode. Uh, so these have been used in, in for instance, Tanzania to, uh, to get rid of the landmines. Uh, mice have been used in Israel to actually detect explosives that, have, that could potentially be carried on um, by people who walk through the airports. There's a different system for detecting that. But a lot of animals can be, can be used in the same way. Thank you okay, very much. be upstanding or at least be <laughs> applauding for Joanna Bagniewska.